In this module, you will learn how to transform data into a meaningful data visualization. I will walk you through the steps to create your first chart using my personal data from Strava. As a reminder, data storytelling is a three-prong approach. The first step is to get data. In the coming weeks, we will talk about access to information requests, open data portals, online databases, and how to get data. The second step is to understand data. You need to clean up your data set. You can use tools such as formula and pivot tables to better understand the potential story within a data set. The third and last step is to visualize your data, to present it. This week, we will use a pretty basic tool, yet quite powerful tool, Data Wrapper. In the coming weeks, we will also experiment with Tableau, which is a very powerful, yet more complex piece of software. So here's the data we will be using for this demonstration. I copied and pasted manually the logs from my Strava app for the month of August 2020. I practiced three main activities during those weeks, kayaking, cycling, and walking. As you can see on this spreadsheet, there are 24 different entries. So it wasn't too, too long to input the data manually, but generally we will try to use readily formatted data uh, from a uh, CSV file or from a website, which is already structured. So we want a structured data set as much as possible. In this case, I had to build it from scratch. So if we take line two, for instance, because the first row um, includes or contains my column titles, so the actual first row with data is the second line on this uh, data set in this spreadsheet. So on August 1st, I did seven kilometers of kayaking, took me two hours, and I was in Ottawa, Ontario. If we go further down, you can see that I did quite a few activities while in Georgian Bay Islands National Park. I kayaked quite a bit. We also took a 16 kilometer walk and so on. So right away, you can think about some ways in which we could visualize this data set. What I will do with you is that I will show you how to turn this into a pie chart highlighting the number of um, kilometers, so the distance I did using each mode of transportation. A quick and easy way to do a basic data analysis using Excel or Google Sheets is to use a pivot table. So I'll click on the pivot table here, which I already made. And we can actually see the information much more clearly. So we only have three rows with information. We actually have four rows, but three main rows. So one each for cycling, kayaking, and walking and then two columns. So we have the sum, S-U-M, that's total. Uh, so the total distance for each of those activities and then the total duration, so sum of duration. And I will teach you later on this semester how to create pivot tables. But what's important here is that we can reach two main conclusions. I did 128 kilometers cycling, kayaking, walking, during the month of August, and it took me a little under 22 hours. What we will use for the next step, which is to visualize the data, will be this column here. I'm interested in the total distance, cycling, kayaking, and walking. So to do so, we can simply copy and paste the first four rows, so I need my title, uh, row and then the three different rows with my activities and simply the first column. Again, I will teach you in the coming weeks how to prepare a data set for visualization, but because we are dealing with a limited 
uh, number of entry points here, we can simply copy and paste it into data wrapper. Mm -hmm. 